This is Matthew with Vantage Sign and Graphic Solutions. Previously we talked about how to create spot color channels for Illustrator and today we're going to look at the same features in Photoshop. Now I've got a photo here that I want to print out with white ink but I want to leave the sky so that there's no white ink behind it so it looks a little translucent. It'll also give us kind of a 3D effect on this image. So what we need to do first is all of our spot channel data comes through what we call alpha channels. So in our layers and channels tab click on channels and we add a new channel and we'll see this alpha channel. Now from there you'll see that it shows up red on the screen. What we can do is however you want to select, I'm just going to do this easily and grab our magic wand tool. And now that we've got all of our layers selected, we can turn on our alpha channel, turn off our print channels. I'm going to make sure that my background layer is white and once that's selected I can go to fill on my selected area and fill it white or fill background color. That will take out that layer. Now once I turn my CMYK channels back on you'll see that all of the red part area is going to be filled and the background is going to end up being clear. Now this will still print CMYK process but it won't actually create a white channel to put in that area. We're going to save this out and this is a little bit more important than it was in Illustrator. Illustrator you could save as an EPS or a PDF and here we have to save it as a TIFF image. So we're going to grab our TIFF and we're going to make sure that our alpha channel is saved. And now that our file is saved we can open it again in uh, Onyx or Caldera or whatever RIP software you're using. Now that we've got Onyx open, we're going to make sure that we've got our same five color printer or a white channel printer or spot channel printer. And we're going to make sure that the media profile that we've got selected is also has a white layer or a spot layer in it. And we're just going to open up our file. Now if you've watched our tutorial on running spot channels out of Illustrator, this will look really familiar. We can always go into our color correction tab and pull down the white channel to make sure that there's color data behind our alpha channel layer. And we want to make sure that we put that back to zero so that it actually prints our white data. And if everything looks the way it's supposed to here, we simply go to our submit. Once this file is processed, we can rip and print like normal. Hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you next time.